because they have done an excellent job. And now to the corridors of justice, where two directors of a company contracted to set up streetlights in two counties for 65 million shillings were charged with failure to pay taxes amounting to 30 million uh, Kenya shillings. Now, Alex Mwende, Stanley Mwende and Stanley Nyamo, all directors of Triple Investments Limited, appeared before Milimani Court Chief Magistrate Kennedy Cheriot and denied all five counts relating to tax fraud. Triple Investments Company was awarded contracts to install and commission streetlights by CIA and Machakos County governments between 2014 and 2017. They are out on a bond of 900,000 shillings. The case will be mentioned on the 27th November 2019. All right, and now we head straight to the headquarters of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission where my colleague Mark Namaso is currently uh, located when it comes uh, to the appearance of uh, El Geo Maraquet Governor Alex Togos, who is expected to appear at the ESSC for various um, issues. And our reporter, uh, Mark Namaso, is giving us details as to why exactly the governor is there. Mark Namaso, good morning. Why is uh, um, El Geo Maraquet Governor Alex Togos expected to appear before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Corruption Commission. Actually, it is uh, Shadrach well, Miti. I beg your pardon well, for that. Shadrach Miti, good morning. Bring us up to date when it comes to Alex Togos, uh, El Gil Maraqueta, uh, uh, governor expected at the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission. Well, good morning, Brenda. And uh, already the uh, Elgeo uh, Market governor, Alex Togos, is already being grilled. He came here a few hours ago. And we are told uh, the, the grilling will be ending in about 30 minutes from now. And uh, we are expecting that uh, once he emerges from the EACC offices, he will be able to speak to us and just tell us how the experience has been. But uh, although the information you have, uh, but that is subject to, to that confirmation from the ESCC themselves and even uh, on the side of the uh, government himself, we are told he's being read over the misappropriation of about 200 million shillings. And other things that is being uh, questioned about is uh, misuse of power, misuse of office, and uh, a co a totally misappropriation of uh, uh, public funds. And one of the key issues that uh, is uh, uh, being uh, followed up to is uh, to explain how he ended up... Uh, uh, giving tenders to people uh, that are deemed to be so close to him and uh, that uh, uh, there is a particular petrol station that uh, he seems to have given a tender and that petrol station is directly linked to him. So basically, uh, apart from uh, looking at the issue of uh, uh, misuse of a uh, public fund, then he will be uh, being put to, ta to task to explain how uh, he ended up uh, he, uh, giving those tenders in a way that uh, is not uh, patent and uh, in, co uh, in a way that is not consistent to uh, public procurement laws. Back to you, uh, Brenda. All right. And Miti, as we expect, uh, you know, um, uh, the Governor Al uh, Alex Togos to appear before the ESSC, it looks like he's facing a lot of, you know, misappropriation of uh, uh, public uh, funds. How much are we probably talking about? Well, we know there may be so many other issues that uh, he may be uh, are required to explain and answer, answer himself to such. But uh, so far, we know that uh, on this particular occasion, he's being questioned on the mis of on the loss of about 200 million shillings, and the the money is being uh, uh, questioned about is said to have been uh, misappropriated through uh, tenders that he issued or he gave he gave to people that are close to him. And uh, there is a one particular company that uh, he gave a tender, and that money. It was channeled to uh, through the same company. And so uh, basically, we know uh, he's uh, being put to tax to explain how 200 million shillings was used in what is deemed to be uh, just part of the larger um, investigation into the misuse of public funds. But uh, we know later the ESCC itself will be issuing a statement to the effect of what has happened. But uh, so far, the little information we have is that he's being drilled over the uh, loss of about 200 million shillings from the county government of. Uh, LGO market. Brenda.
And Miti, lastly, I mean, uh, Governor Togus is not the only governor who has appeared before the ESCC for questioning. We've seen several governors, uh, and last week it was Nairobi County Governor Mike Mbuvisonko. Still on, you know, misappropriation of public funds. So what message is the ESCC actually sending out to governors when it comes to the war, of, uh, the war on graft? Well, uh, Brenda, you realize that uh, before the recent events uh, began, um, we began to witness uh, the recent events. Remember, previously it was very hard for the governors to appear on their own volition at the ESCC. Uh, we have cases in previous occasions where many governors would be summoned here, but uh, they would end up not honoring the same summons. And so, uh, what has been happening in previous weeks in one way is uh, just to go. Uh, a mile to show how maybe it is becoming tougher for the county bosses to hide from uh, the scrutiny of the ESCC and other government agencies that are, are keen on uh, monitoring uh, the uh, appropriation or rather misappropriation of funds. And so uh, we may say that uh, whereas previously it was a bit maybe safer for many of the governors not to really um, um, to look like playing by the ball or by the laws that are said particularly on public procurement, uh, it seems in recent times it has been, uh, the news has been tightening around them and so it is becoming almost impossible for them to hide or to run away from any uh, form of uh, scrutiny. And so remember, uh, we have uh, like the uh, Kiambu governor, uh, Ferdinand Waititu, who can no longer now access uh, his office because of the charges he's facing. And so maybe that one has, may have gone a long way to send a, a tough message to many of the governors that uh, should they fail to honor some of the summons some of they are getting from uh, the ESCC and other government agencies and maybe fail to uh, 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 commit themselves and obey the laws as, they, as per the uh, public procurement laws, then they may be, in, they may be even in uh, deeper problems. And so this may just be going uh, a, a, a long way to show how maybe they're trying to play safe so that they, uh, they avoid the situ a situation where they may be finding themselves in a, in a deeper problem that may make it very difficult for them to run their counties. And so, um, well, we may say ESCC is uh, at the moment uh, looking that, like it can now really uh, rain down on them and uh, make it force uh, at least felt by the many of the county chiefs that uh, previously uh, they look like untouchables. Back to you, uh, Brenda. All right. Thank you so much. Our reporter, uh, Shadrach Miti, at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, where Alex Togus Elgeo uh, Maraquet, uh, governor, is expected to appear right there for questioning by the uh, ESCC officials. Shadrach Miti will give us updates later on, of course, also during Loma Shilani with Lofty Matambo. Now, you're up to date with what is making...